Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about properties of integers. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to correctly define the properties of integers, correctly name the property of integers that justifies a given expression, and correctly write a mathematical expression to illustrate the property of integer. When we say property, it refers to a rule that is assumed to be always true without any proof. So, ibig sabihin, when we say property, rule na yan. So, yan na yan. So, um, it exists. Uh, we accept that fact even without proof. Right? So, property. First property is the commutative property. Um, we have commutative property of addition and commutative property of multiplication. In addition, the order in which you add the integers does not affect the sum. So we have a plus b is equal to b plus a. So when we say commutative property of addition, pwedeng balibalik ta rin yan. Commute. Okay, yung para movement. So pwedeng balik ta rin. Example, if we have 7 plus 3, that is also equal to 3 plus 7. Notice that our addends, yung 7 at saka 3, binaliktad lang natin. 3 plus 7. They are equal. Bakit? Because 7 plus 3 is 10. And 3 plus 7 is also 10. So therefore, this commutative property of addition exists. Again, commutative property, balik rin lang 7 plus 3 equals 3 plus 7. Now, for multi multiplication, the order in which you multiply the integers does not affect the product. So, we have a times b is equal to b times a. So, just like addition, parang baliktad-baliktad lang. So, kahit na balibaliktad rin mo yung mga uh, numbers na i-multiply or integers na i-multiply, ganun pa rin ang magiging sagot. Example, 7 times 3. That is also equal to 3 times 7. Commutative property of multiplication. Bakit? Because 7 times 3 is 21. Kung balik ta rin mo siya, gawin mong 3 times 7, ang sagot ay 21 pa rin. Again, that's commutative property of multiplication. Next property is the associative property of addition. Associative property of addition. It says that changing the grouping, take note of the word grouping. So, we, um, it deals with groups. Okay? So, changing the grouping of the addends does not affect the sum. So, if we have A plus B plus C, this is equal to A plus B plus C. Take note that here we group A plus B. But sa kabila, we have B plus C. Example. We have 7 plus 3 grouped together plus 4. So that this is read as 7 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 plus 3 plus 4. So dito, unahin natin yung 7 plus 3. Bago natin i-add ang 4. Sa kabila naman, yung 3 plus 4 na unang i-add bago i-add sa 7. And the associative property of addition says that they are the same. Okay? So, they are equal. So, bakit? Kasi 7 plus 3, that's 10. Plus 4, that gives us 14. Paano kung unahin natin yung 3 plus 4? Okay, so 3 plus 4 is 7. Plus 7, that is also 14. Meaning, they are equal. So, kahit ito pa ang unahin mo, bago mo i-add dito, the same lang yan kung ito ang unahin mo bago mo i-add dito. So, that is associative property of addition. Ma'am, para bang ano lang siya? Parang commutative property lang din siya. Mm, at one glance, parang, parang kagaya lang ng commutative property. Pero hindi talaga. Notice that we still have the order 7, 3, 4. Dito, 7, 3, 4. That's the same. Yung nag-iba lang, dito, ang group ay ang 7 plus 3. Dito naman, ang nakagroup ay ang 3 and 4. Kung 
commutative yan, it is sana 7 plus 4 plus, plus 3. Tapos, pwedeng dito 4 plus 3 plus 7. Okay? So, yung order ng numbers ang nag-change kung commutative property. Whereas, kung associative property, it's the grouping that changes. Right? Next, we also have associative property of multiplication. It says that changing the grouping of the factors does not affect the product. So, we have A plus B times, uh, I'm sorry, A times B times C is equal to A times B times C. So, dito naman still the same grouping. Kaya lang the operation is multiplication. So, we have 7 times 3 times 4 is equal to 7 times 3 times 4. So, kahit na unahin daw natin ito i-multiply, 7 times 3, that's 21, and then times 4, that gives us 84. That is still the same kung uunahin natin itong 3 times 4. So, 3 times 4, that's 12, and then times 7, that also gives us 84. So, pareho lang yung sagot. Again, associative property of multiplication. 7 times 3, ito ang nakagroup. Dito naman ang nakagroup, 3 times 4. Okay? Next property is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. It says that the product of an integer and the sum of other two integers is equal to the sum of the individual products of the integer with each of the addends. In symbols, we have A times B plus C. This is equal to A times B plus A times C. So, it's like we distributed A. So, we multiply A to B and then we multiply A to C and then we add the two products. Example, 7 times 3 plus 4. We can, um, we can get the sum of this, 3 plus 4, that's 7, and then we multiply it to 7, so that's 7 times 7, that's 49. The distributive property of multiplication states that this is still the same if you distribute 7 to 3 and 4. So we have 7 times 3, this is it, 7 times 3, and then 7 times 4. That is 7 times 4. And then we add the 2. Okay? Because this is addition. We add the 2. Again, distributive property. We distribute 7. Okay? We distribute 7 to 3 and 4. And then we add because the operation here is addition. 7 times 3. That's 7 times 3. Plus 7 times 4. So 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 4 is 28. We add the 2. That gives us 49. So, they are the same. Again, that's the distributive property of multiplication over addition. Another property is the identity property of addition. Identity property of addition. Adding 0 to an integer does not change the value of the integer. So, 0 is called the identity element for addition. Identity element for addition is zero. Kasi kahit anong number ang i-add natin sa zero equals that number. Example, seven plus zero equals seven. So zero here acts as the identity element. Kasi kahit anong number ang i-add natin, let's say seven, 7 plus 0, it gives us the number 7. So, it acts like a mirror. Para siyang salamin lang, ano? Andito si 7. Pag nakaharap siya sa salamin na 0, ang magiging sagot ay yung sarili niya, 7. Again, that's identity property of addition. Ang multiplication naman ay meron ding identity property. Yung identity element ng multiplication ay ang 1. Okay? 1. So, multiplying an integer by 1 does not change the value of the integer. Kahit anong number ang i-multiply mo sa 1, it gives you the same number. Example, 
7 times 1 equals 7. So 1 here acts as the identity element for multiplication. Para siyang salamin, para lang din siyang mirror. Na kung 7 ay nakaharap sa kanya, well, if it's multiplication, then yung sagot ay yung 7 pa rin. 100 times 1 equals 100. 1 million times 1 equals 1 million. So 1 is the identity element for multiplication. And the property is called identity property of multiplication. This is the fourth property. Now, the fifth, it should be five here. Fifth property is the inverse property of addition. Now, the sum of an integer and its opposite, opposite value, opposite value on the other side of the number line, called the additive inverse, is always equal to zero. Again, yung integer niya, tapos i-add mo sa kanyang opposite, yung kabaliktaran niya, Yung opposite ng positive ay negative. Ang opposite ng negative ay positive. So, we call that additive inverse. Pag i-add mo daw yung dalawa, ang magiging sagot ay zero. And that property is what we call the inverse property of addition. In symbols, we have a plus negative a is equal to zero. It's always zero. Again, that's inverse property. So, example, we have 7 plus negative 7. Notice that um, 7, the additive inverse of 7 is negative 7. And the additive inverse of negative 7 is positive 7. So, when you add the 2, it gives you 0. Again, this property is called inverse property of addition. So, if we have 100 plus negative 100, the answer is 0. Let's try this. What property of integers is shown in the following equation? We have negative 2 times 4 times 5 equals 5 times negative 2 times 4. Hmm. In the given expression, the order of the factors negative 2 times 4 and 5 is changed. See? They are changed. So, nauna ito, dito sa kabila, o oh, nasa hulihan na siya. The order has changed. Therefore, the property is commutative property for multiplication of integers. Saan dito ang commutative? Ito kasi yung nauna, negative 2 times 4. Tapos, sa kabila, nag-change na ang nauna na yung 5. And then, nasa hulihan na si negative 2 times 4. And so, it is, again, commutative property. Example number 2. By the distributive property of multiplication over addition, the mathematical expression negative 4 times 5 plus 3 is equivalent to the sum of what two integers? So, if we have this expression, this is equal to the sum of what two integers? Right, so we have negative 4 times 5 plus 3. So, we distribute using the distributive property of multiplication. We distribute negative 4 to 5. So, meaning we multiply negative 4 to 5. This is it, negative 4 times 5. And then plus, plus. And then we distribute negative 4 to 3. So that's negative 4 times 3. So this is it. So we have negative 4 times 5. That's negative 20 plus plus. And negative 4 times 3. That's negative 12. Simplifying. So that's negative 20 minus 12. So the same signs. Copy the common sign. And then you add. So that's 32. So the answer is 32 negative 32, negative 32. So, therefore, the two integers, okay, the two integers are negative 20 and negative 12. So, these are the answers to this question. So, the sum of what two integers? So, the mathematical expression negative 4 times 5 plus 3 is equivalent to the sum of what two integers? So, the two integers that we are looking for are negative 20 
and negative 12. So I want you to try these exercises. So we have number one, fill in the boxes to show the associative property of integers. So that's negative 1 plus 8 plus 6. This is equal to what? So what should you put here? Dito at saka dito. Number two, fill in the blanks with the correct integers using the distributive property of multiplication over addition. So applying distributive property, ano dapat ang andito, anong number ito, so on. So I want you to try this. You can pause this video and then after that, you can play it again to check on your answers. So you can go ahead and pause this video now. Alright, so I assume that you have already answered the individual practice. So let's check it, check your answer. So it should be negative 1 plus 8 plus 6. So associative property and so it should be the same order. So negative 1, 8, and 6. Negative 1, 8, and 6. Let's check if it's if it's really associative property. Well, we have here the grouping is negative 1 and 8. Dito, we have 8 and 6. And we still have the same order. Negative 1, 8, 6. Negative 1, 8, 6. So that's associative property. How about number 2? This is applying distributive property of multiplication over addition. So we have here 2 plus negative 9. Ito yung nakagroup. And then we multiply that to negative 7. So, ang i-distribute natin dito yung negative 7, we distribute it to, to positive 2, and then we distribute it to negative 9. Okay? So, that would be negative 7 times 2. And then we have, we add it, add, kasi addition, so we add negative 7 pa rin because this is the one that we're distributing, negative 7, and then we multiply it to negative 9. Ngayon, pwede din namang negative 7 times negative 9 plus negative 7 times 2. Kasi ano naman yan? Commutative. Okay, pwede naman yan. Or pwede ring 2 times negative 7 tapos negative 9 times negative 7. Pwede rin. Kasi commutative ang multiplication. Alright? So, I want you to try this in your... I want you to copy and answer this in your notebook. So, you have A, 1, 2, 6 and b 1 to 5 but i'm going to um i'm going to give number 1 as an example so name the property illustrated in each of the following expressions so number 1 negative 3 plus 3 equals 0 so anong property ito so that is basically it's adding the additive inverse ano, and it gives us 0 so the property is inverse property of addition all right so uh, copy and answer um, items number 2 to number 6 in your notebook. And then for letter B, use the indicated property to write an expression that is equivalent to each of the following expressions. So, number 1 is given as an example. So, nakalagay dito, commutative property. Ayan, commutative property for addition. Commutative property meaning, i -i, um, change lang natin yung order. Balik ta rin lang yung addend. So, that's 4 plus 3. So, ginawa natin 3 plus 4. So, that's commutative property. So, they are equivalent. Okay? 4 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 4. Alright? So, you can go ahead and do items number 2 and number 5 in your notebook. 